It's no secret that Pokemon Scarlet and Violet were launched under pretty buggy circumstances. There's no shortage of the types of performance issues you're seeing here. I bought the game without seeing any of this, expecting some baseline of quality from a quarter century old franchise that has reached the absolute pinnacle of profitability. I was wrong. This game was pushed out without being finished so they could capitalize on that coveted, juicy holiday window. The game went on to break records for Nintendo and Pokemon, with executives likely wheezing in laughter on their way to the bank. Fast forward to February. The game still doesn't work. But not to worry. A patch is on the way. It's delivered around the same time as Pokemon Day, where everyone tunes in to see what new projects they can look forward to. To no one's surprise, paid DLC is being added to the game to extract more value. I mean, now that the game is fixed, they can work on extra content, right? Right? So it turns out that something related to the new patch, the DLC, or Pokemon Home or Go integration is deleting your entire save file. Word comes by way of Reddit where someone lost hundreds of shiny Pokemon they had caught. New reports of this phenomenon are coming in, and the community is banding together to figure out a way to fix or avoid the issue, as if they've been trained to know that Game Freak is not going to step in for them. Why is the data being deleted? Why are there random Pokemon in raids? Why don't raids work at all? Who knows? There is one solution that could have worked to prevent this issue. The cloud save backup system from Nintendo Switch Online. But, but, but wait. Game Freak couldn't be bothered with implementing that, as some people might use it to cheat. We wouldn't want that, would we? So instead of finishing the game or fixing all the bugs, Game Freak decided to work on more content to push out for the next holiday season. And I mean, who can blame them? We already gave them the money to buy these games. Why would they waste their time fixing them when they could make more money by pumping out more content? In an ironic twist, the people who are playing Pokemon Go, subscribing to Pokemon Home, and buying the DLC are the people who are being hit by this bug. I literally could not design a more apt description of Pokemon's nosediving quality over the last few years. At first, they cut the Pokédex in half, making you pay a ransom on your superior for close to a decade before he can go into another game. Then they cut the vision and budget for the remakes, saddling the brilliant diamond with a giga patch on release to bring it to an even playable state the game was ugly and devoid of any platinum content so that it could be faithful to the originals but i guess making the game work out of the box wasn't part of that faithful vision and that's where we sit now a complete pokedex is too much work spending more time and money to make the games better isn't an option and now they can't even be bothered to finish the games before they slap a premium price onto a box to sell to unsuspecting seven-year-olds while CD Projekt Red's cyberpunk disaster ruined their reputation and tanked their stock price, it doesn't seem like all that's happening here will inflict even a scratch on the prospects of Pokemon. It seems the franchise is too big to fail at this point, with legions of corporate apologists lining up for their next ration of slop. The worst part of all this is that I'm nearly a lifelong Pokemon fan. I have kids of my own now, and my daughter just got a grasp on reading so I could introduce her to the latest Pokemon game. What she got was a buggy, boring mess that she dropped after a couple of sessions. And all this waiting later, and the game still doesn't work. You look at other recent RPGs like Dragon Quest, Final Fantasy Remake, or Xenoblade Chronicles that are lucky to sell a small fraction of what Pokemon does on a regular basis, and you see that it's possible to make an ambitious RPG work. The talent is out there, and surely Pokemon could work up a sizable budget or get more studios to support the franchise like Call of Duty does, but it doesn't look like they're going to do that. Why go through all that pesky effort when you can keep pumping out half-baked games at a breakneck pace?